Hello YouTube and welcome to the comic book channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing my very, very two day late comic book pickups from my local comic book shops for the week of June 1st, 2022. To get us started from Image Comics, here is Super Freaks. Number one, I believe this is just a one shot. Uh, celebrating 10 years of the Savage Fincast podcast with an official fan tribute to everyone's favorite Finhead. Wow, that's pretty cool. I actually didn't even know there was a Savage Dragon podcast, and now I'll definitely be checking that out. Um, but yeah, this is a uh, tie-in to that. We have the highly anticipated James Tiny in the fourth uh New book from Image Comics this week. This is issue number one of The Closet. Pretty excited to check that out. Uh, James Tinian has been pretty good so far. So hopefully that translates well into that series. Here is another weird um, one shot maybe or I don't know. I don't think this is an ongoing. Uh, this is Farrah Lanx. I, I, I don't know how we are supposed to say that. Uh, number one. From Image. Uh, I don't know. We'll read it and check it out and see what it is. Um, here's issue number 21 of the really, really good series Firepower. This is great. If you're not reading it, you need to get on board with this series. I say it every single time. It's really good. Check it out. Here is issue number six with a Todd McFarlane cover of Scorched. I haven't read a single one of these yet. Just grabbing them for the cover art. But they look cool. Over to DC, here is my local comic book shop store variant by Tyler Kirkham for Dark Crisis, number one. Is this Dark Crisis or is this, uh, yeah, Dark Crisis. I don't know if it was like Road to Dark Crisis or what, but pretty cool cover. Yara Floor, Wonder Woman. So there is that. I've also got, um... You know, I feel like this one came out last week, and I'm just having it now for some odd reason. Anyways, this is Shadow War Omega number one. I don't know, I could be wrong. Maybe it just came out this week, but for some reason it feels like it came out last week. Here is the regular A cover for the Batman Annual. And here is the B cover for the Batman Annual. Ghost Maker covers there. Speaking of James Tinian, the fourth here is Nice House on the Lake, issue number nine. Crazy, crazy series. Um, I guess we're going to move to Marvel because that's how I mix it up here. Here's issue number six, the one in 25 uh, incentive for Black Panther. Also got the one in 25 for Miles Morales Spider-Man. And a regular cover as well. Here's Captain Marvel issue number 38. I really feel like I've seen this cover before. Maybe I've just seen it solicited too many times. I don't know. Uh, this is a really, really great cover here um, by Bjorn Berendez, I think is how you're supposed to say his name. It's issue number three of Strange. Check out that cover. It's really awesome. All the covers for the series have been awesome so far, but I really like this one a lot. It's really cool. Here is King Conan, issue number five. We've got X-Men 92, House of something, issue number two. Here's Carnage, issue number three. Got Star Wars Darth Vader, issue number 23 with this variant cover, whichever variant cover this may be. And keeping in line with Star Wars, here's issue number 23 of Star Wars Bounty Hunters. I've got issue number three of Ghost Rider. It's the regular cover. And I have one of each of the covers here. So here is this variant. And here is a Peach Momoko variant as well. 
over to independent books from AWA. Upshot here is New Think 1.0. I like the cover art on this one, and I uh, the solicits say that it's akin to uh, Black Mirror, so which Black Mirror is just a technology update of the Twilight Zone. So I really like the Twilight Zone. I've been like uh, lukewarm on Black Mirror. Some of it's really good, some of it's really bad. Um, so we'll see how the series is. I think that kind of thing translates a little a little better to a comic book form versus television form anyway. So hopefully that'll be cool. Um, looks like an Adam and Eve type of thing with an Apple phone hanging there. Um, from Behemoth, here is Neverender, number one. Looks cool. Like the cover art there. It seems like a heavy book. Um, I don't know what's going on in the back, but some... Jonathan Hickman style uh, hieroglyphs and God, God bless the ring and cool stuff going on. So I don't know, maybe this will be cool. From Antarctic Press, here's issue number 11 of Horror Comics. Dracula in the West, part two of two. And for some reason, I have a copy of 10 as well, because maybe I didn't get that before. Maybe it was stuck in my pool. I don't know. But that's part one of two of Dracula in the West. Here's a new number one this week from Scout Comics. This is Code 45. I know nothing about this book, but it's here, and there it is. We've got a new publisher this week. This is, uh, what is the name of this publisher? I honestly can't remember the name of the publisher now, so I'm going to have to look before I try and say it. Uh, Artist Elite Comics. So, from Artist Elite Comics, this is the first thing they're publishing. This is Primer Red, Premier, Primer, right? Primer. Oh. Grabbed a couple of those. Um... I don't know. Looks cool. Could be cool. It's got like a dude that kind of looks like Carnage and a a lady that kind of looks like a Punchline on the cover there. And then that dude and then that lady. And then Ghost Rider 2.0. So maybe it'll be cool. I guess she's like Punchline crossed with the... Uh, um, can't think of the name now. Uh, what's her name? Psylocke. Sorry. Punch, punchline Psylocke uh, mashup, maybe. Here is the second printing of issue number one of Grimm. This was a pretty cool uh, first read. Um, read that first issue of Grimm number one. If you didn't check it out, definitely check that out. It was a fun book. Uh, here is from Boom Studios. Here's issue number 26 of Once in Future. Also a really, really cool book. And those are all my brand new pickups. A couple of things that came in the mail, or actually this one rather was a giveaway from my local comic book shop. I won something, so I was given this, which is pretty cool because it is uh, issue number three of Godzilla vs. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the one in 10 incentive. So that's fun. And then I got my Jurassic League one, one in 25 variant from an online retailer that came in, as well as another copy of Catwoman, issue 43, the regular A cover. And that's what I picked up this week. So thank you guys so much for checking out my video. It's pretty short, hitting nine minutes right now, so I'll go ahead and make a plug at the end, as I have been. If you guys enjoy podcasts and you enjoy listening to people talk about movies, me and a friend named Jer do a podcast every week about a new movie, a new movie to us. Uh, it's called Real Good Movies with Jer and Dan. I'm Dan, that's real, R-E-E-L, good movies with Jer, that's him and Dan, and I'm Dan. And we just take about an hour a week, hour or so, talk about some of our favorite movies. This past week we did 2002's uh, Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire, the Sam Raimi film. It was a great discussion. We had a wonderful time. And we're actually doing a giveaway from that episode. So if you listen to that episode and you clue in on the Easter egg and then do what the instructions say, you can get a cool comic book uh, giveaway 
sent to you for no charge. So please hit up the podcast, check it out, give it a listen or a like or whatever you can do with that. You can follow us on Instagram as well. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for checking out my video. Please let me know in the comments below if I missed out on anything awesome. And I appreciate you guys and I'll see you next time.